Hi, this is Heather with Keep It Simple Social Media. And in this quick video, I'd like to show you how you create a link click out of one photo on your Facebook business page. Now, this is a little bit of a trick. So I've showed you other ways in other videos, but this way, you're actually going to turn the post into an ad really quickly and then turn it off. So you're not actually going to spend any money, but by turning it into an ad, you turn on the learn more button, which will give you an opportunity to add a URL in the link, which will then turn the picture into a link click. Now let's be honest, your Facebook business page content, these posts that you post here really get very little help from Facebook or reach from Facebook to get into the newsfeed of people that need to see your products and service. So for example, I posted this post three days ago now. You can see right here it says 3D. That means three days ago I posted this post right here. And what I know about this post by looking down here is it only went into 114 news feeds. That doesn't even mean that anyone actually saw it. But I know that two people right here engaged with this post. And I know both these people and neither one of them is going to buy this property. So what I really need to do is in all honesty, I need to turn this post into an ad and then target the audience where I think the buyer for this property may be living as well as some of the detailed targeting features about that particular person. But that's not what this video is about. What this video is about is how do you turn this single image, this single image into a click so if the consumer clicks on it, it leaves Facebook and goes to my website where I want the consumer to go. So basically what I'm going to do is first thing you have to do is know where you want to send the consumer. So for example, I've opened up my website here to this particular listing. I am going to copy that URL. I'm going to go back to Facebook. And now what I'm going to do underneath the photo is I'm going to click boost this post. Once I click it, it opens up. Now, some of you are not in specific fields where you need to have a special ad category clicked. However, I am, so I'm gonna turn it on and I am going to choose housing because this has to do with real estate. The next thing I'm gonna do is right here where it says button or label, I'm gonna click the little drop down half diamond because I don't wanna send people to my WhatsApp or my telephone number. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to the learn more button, I'm gonna click on it. But now it asks me, what is the URL for where you wanna send people? And this can be any page on your website or your website overall, such as mine right here, heatherclifford.com. But actually I wanna send them to the specific page on my website where this listing actually is. Now you notice what just happened over here? It now has a learn more button so the consumer can click it and go to my website. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my audience and you don't even need to do this because we're actually not going to run this ad. And I'm just gonna put British Columbia. I'm gonna have a great big wide field. And then I could go into all of these items here and I could create more uh, interests, um, advertising options for what I think the buyer of this property is, or I can just confirm that I'm not going to do any of those things. So let's just go back in here and once again, put British Columbia, British Columbia, and I am also going to add in here for sale by owner, starter homes, investor, just anything that would come up that people might be real estate, construction, home design, anything at all that you wanna put in there. And what you're really doing is you can notice down here, Facebook is saying this is your estimated audience reach. I'm gonna go ahead and save that audience. Now, Facebook's picked the budget for me. That's a little excessive. I'm gonna take it down a notch and I'm gonna go probably $30. However, 
You don't even want to run an ad. All you want is to get this learn more button. So now I've showed you how to get the learn more button. You got your ad created. You double check to make sure that the payment is not um, what you're not expecting. And go ahead and boost that post. Now what you're going to do, because you don't want to spend any money on Facebook, is once your ad is submitted, you're going to go right back to your Facebook business page wall and it's going to load right now. I'm going to go over here and click on home and that way I can get back to my wall. And when I'm on my wall, I can see, all right, I've got the learn more button right there. So what you want to do now, because you really don't want to spend any money, is you want to go into the ad center. So I'm just going to show you now how to quickly turn that ad off because you really don't want to be running an ad. You just wanted your photo to have a clickable link to your website. So what you're going to do, you're in your ad center. And here is the ad. It is now active. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and view your results. And once you click on it, you will see up here in the right hand side, it says active and you just toggle that to the left and it will stop your ad. In some cases, it will say your ad is paused. When you use your smartphone, it will say your ad has stopped. So I will show you now how to use the mobile phone with the Facebook ads to shut your ad off, to turn your ad off, just like I've showed you here from my laptop computer. Use the Facebook ads app to turn off your ads. Not only is it good to look at how your ads are performing from the app, but it's a good way if you need to stop your ad for any reason, it's quick and it's easy. So you can see in the bottom right hand corner, I have the Facebook ads app. I'm going to go ahead and open it and it will show you all the ads that you have running. You can go into each one and get more details on how they're performing. But in this video, I want to show you how you turn off that ad. Let's go ahead and click on the first one. That's the one that we just created on our Facebook business page from the laptop. So we're going to open up the ad and you're going to notice it says active. Well, in the right hand side, there's a blue little button. It's a toggle. You toggle it to the left and now your ad is off. And that's how simple it is to turn your ad off. But remember, you cannot edit an ad once it's been running, even if you turn it off. I'm going to turn it back on and it'll go into review one more time and then it'll be live again. This is Heather. Remember everyone, let's keep it simple.